Mastering first conditional in English with irregular verbs. Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to tackle a very important topic in English grammar, first conditional. Specifically, we'll be using irregular verbs within first conditional sentences. By the end of this video, you'll be forming sentences using the first conditional and irregular verbs like a pro. So, let's dive in. First of all, what is the first conditional? The first conditional, also known as the future real conditional, is used to express situations which are likely to happen in the future, if a certain condition is met. It's typically structured with an if clause using the present simple tense, followed by a main clause using the future simple tense. The general structure is, if plus present simple, will plus base form. An example could be, if it rains, I will stay at home. Now, let's touch on irregular verbs. Unlike regular verbs, irregular verbs do not follow a specific pattern in their past tense and past participle forms. For example, go, becomes, went in the past tense, and eat becomes ate. It's essential to memorize these irregular forms because they are commonly used in everyday English. So how do we combine irregular verbs with the first conditional? Simple. We still follow the first conditional structure, but our main verb might be an irregular one. For instance, let's take the irregular verb, go. An example of a first conditional sentence could be, if I find her address, I will go to her house. Or with the verb, eat. If I feel hungry later, I will eat something. In both these examples, the irregular verbs, go, and eat, are in the base form in the main clause following the structure of the first conditional. Now it's time for practice. Here are some sentences for you to convert into first conditional. 1. I may drink coffee later. If I feel tired. 2. She might take a nap. If she feels sleepy. 3. They might come to the party. If they finish their work, pause the video here, try them out, and then resume the video to check your answers. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding how to use irregular verbs in first conditional sentences. Keep practicing and don't forget that the key to mastering any language is consistency. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next lesson where we'll explore more about English grammar.